what do you do when you run out of the four or five LAN ports that come with your router? Well, you get an unmanaged gigabit PoE switch, of course. But what does all that even mean? And gigabit sounds pretty fast. Does that mean you're going to get gigabit internet speed? Well, let's find out. Okay, let's do this. Break it down now, phone, gadget, apps, it's the techie, techie guy, yeah. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Liron Sega, where I talk about Wi-Fi and gadget and tech tips and phones and how to. If you're into that kind of stuff, hit that subscribe button below and let's get on to today's show. Right, there's no question that we love our Wi-Fi, but we know that the best connectivity is to hardwire everything that you can into your router, and which essentially means you're going to run out of ports pretty darn quickly. But when you run out of ports, well then switches is your next purchase that you need to get. Now, I've been trying these two units. This is the 5 port 78 watt switch, and this is the 8 port 128 watt switch that Omak sent me and they're pretty darn awesome all right let's look at this a little bit closer top one has got the five port bottom one has got the eight port you can see the top one has got these four ports over here this is where you plug your four devices into this the fifth port and this is the uplink port this is what you're going to be plugging your LAN cable into and from here into your router now the bottom one doesn't have a dedicated uplink port any of those eight ports can be used as the uplink enabling the other seven to be used as far as the design is concerned, you can see it's got this lovely airflow that goes through this device, keeping it nice and cool. On the back, the only thing that it's got is the ability to plug it into power. There isn't even an on-off switch because it just literally plug and play. What I like about these switches is the way that this is actually built to last. Very, very good for home usage. Link will be in the description below if you want to get more information. So let's break it all down. What does an unmanaged PoE gigabit switch actually mean? So you get a managed and an unmanaged switch. A managed switch essentially means that it's able to manage the finite details of your network via software. This is a whole level of geekiness that frankly, most of us are never gonna need. An unmanaged switch is the opposite. You simply plug and play, you don't have to configure anything. And from the moment that you plug your switch in, it just works. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that shortly. Right, next up we have something called PoE. PoE stands for Power Over Ethernet. So when you connect devices like VoIP phones and security cameras and access points, you know that they need power in order to work. You plug it into your wall outlet, you then run the ethernet cable from the security camera back into your switch, and basically that's how you get data from the camera. If your camera is PoE enabled, essentially you don't have to find a power outlet in the wall anymore because it's gonna get its power from the same ethernet cable that runs from your PoE switch to your PoE security camera, which means you've got much more freedom as to where to place it. Now these switches are gigabit switches. This means that they can move data around the network at 10, 100 or 1000 megabits per second. This is what you need to handle all that amazing data that's circling around your network. Now, will gigabit switch gives you faster internet? Well, no. You see, whilst the data from your computer or PlayStation or Xbox will flow nice and fast at 1000 megabits per second around your network, it goes from your switch to your router, your router to your modem, and then your modem out to your ISP. And that's when the bottleneck happens. If you're paying for 10 megabits per second, you're not gonna get a gigabit internet speed. Where gigabit does an excellent job is in reducing congestion on your busy network. When you notice the biggest difference is when you're transferring large files between your computers to your backup device, your NAS device, and especially when you're streaming 4K videos from your local media server, well, a gigabit switch makes all the difference. Now to set it up, all you have to do is plug a LAN cable from the one port or the uplink port back into your router and that's uh, pretty much it. I really wish all tech could be as simple as literally this plug and play. So I wanna know from you, how many devices have you got hardwired with a LAN cable on your network? Do you have a switch at the moment? Let me know in the comments. I bet we're gonna see some crazy numbers down there. And if you want more Wi-Fi tips and tricks and networking, check out these videos down here. Hit the head below to subscribe if this is your first time here. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. And I'll see you guys in those videos. Let's go. Cool.